There's this bloke sat next to me on the plane in July. We were flying from New England to Montana, change at Chicago, and he sat next to me. And I reached into the pocket in front and I pulled out the in-flight magazine and I immediately put it back and I turned around and I said to Leo, it's the same magazine we had when we crossed the Atlantic, I've read it all. And he says, uh, do you want some reading material? I said, oh, oh, that's very kind of you. And he said, yeah, I've got lots of magazines here. And he passed across responsible handgun owner. Um, <laughs> well, I, I left all the gun magazines on the table and silence fell for a bit. And he said, uh, you're not interested in guns? And I said, no, I'm English, actually. <laughs> I said, it's very kind of you to offer the magazines, but we don't have guns in England, really. He said, you don't have guns? I said, well, there are guns there, but, you know, generally people don't own guns. You have to have a very special reason to get a gun licence, and the police are very strict, and, um, and we don't have guns, really. Oh, he said, I find that very interesting, that your police must have guns. I said, well, they have access to guns, but they don't carry guns as a rule. And he said, and, and you don't own a gun? I said, no, I don't own a gun. I said, I've never even touched a gun. I've never seen a gun. And your friends? I said, well, none of my friends own guns. He said, but what do you do if a wolf attacks your cows? <laughs> I said, we don't have cows in England. 